Delbert and Sanaz Wetter have equipped their home with cameras and sound monitors. As the deaf parents of two young children, they rely on the technology to alert them to noises they can't hear, although it's often a false alarm. We can only tell if there's something loud happening in the room. And we have a child that is very talkative. She would babble. So we can't distinguish between loud noises and crying. But thanks to a new app, that's changing. It's called Chatter Baby, and not only tells parents when a baby is crying, but why. It looks at uh, the types of frequencies that are in the cry, and it looks at the different patterns of sound and silence. Dr. Arianna Anderson developed the app at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. After having her third child, she began noticing similarities in the cries of all three. As a statistician, I see the world in terms of numbers and patterns, and so the first thought was whether or not I could train a computer algorithm to do what my ears as a parent could automatically do. Using a database of more than 2,000 infant cries, she used machine learning to decipher what each baby cry means, fussy, hungry, in pain. She even tested the program on her own baby during his vaccinations. Between fussy and hungry, it's a little bit hard to tell, but pain we could identify with nearly 90% accuracy. Which could not only help the deaf or hearing impaired, but first-time parents and even women with postpartum depression. Studies show communication often lags in those mothers and can lead to delays in baby's speech development. Well, it would help a lot. I'm really excited about the app. It would help the children be safe. It's not such a struggle to identify what's going Going on. The app is available for free download for Apple and Android phones. You can even help improve the app by uploading sounds and descriptions of your baby's cries. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.